So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to demonstrate the bleb technique, but I'm make, going to make the blebs with the solution I was using to perform EMR on a lesion up proximal to this tumor. At this point in this video, we're looking at a tumor. We can tell this is cancer because it's got this very ratty appearance. Then if you look at the surface of it, you can see that the vascular pattern is disrupted. That's the nice type 3 pattern. It tells us there's deep submucosal uh, invasion. So we're going to mark, and the location we'll mark is distal to the tumor, and we are going to use the bleb technique. And I'm making the blebs here with the same submucosal injection fluid I had been using for EMR on a lesion that was up proximal to this in the colon. We've already been to the seek and removed that lesion by EMR. We've got some extra fluid left over and it's got indigo carmine in it. Now indigo carmine is not an effective tattoo, but it allows you to see the bleb technique uh, really clearly. We're rotating the scope, using rotation and right left turning on the scope to get ourselves in this best position where we're sort of tangential to the mucosa and we're making four blebs here with our EMR uh, fluid. Then we're going to inject our tattoo with spot directly into that. Now notice how our blebs are spaced uh, around four quadrants and notice how they're at, they're at the same level, about two centimeters distal to the tumor. Now we've got the needle in the first bleb and we're injecting a cc of uh, tattoo and we're just going to repeat this process, uh, go around and inject each one of these with a cc of spot. When we are finished, we will take a photograph showing the tattoos and showing the tumor and then we will mark on the colonoscopy report that we have put uh, this tattoo uh, distal to this malignant tumor and uh, marked four quadrants with a total of four cc's of spot. So this is the bleb technique and again we are uh, calling this the, the bleb technique. The blebs are usually made with saline, which is clear. It doesn't have this uh, colored uh, appearance. But if you have some fluid left over from an EMR, you certainly can use that to create your blebs. And I think it gives a nice demonstration here of uh, being able to see the blebs very easily. And you can see how we're continuing to move around uh, for uh, quadrants and the advantage of this for surgery is that we know that one of these is going to be visible on the anti-mesenteric side of the colon for the surgeon to easily see the location.